everyone hello dear student see in this lecture we are going to continue heterocyclic dyes in last lecture we have seen two of the heterocyclic dyes out of from five heterocyclic dyes see in last lecture we have seen thiazine dyes and azine dyes in last lecture we have seen thiazine and azine dyes from thiazine the example was methylene blue and from azine the example was saffron in tea we have also seen synthesis of saffron in tea now see third heterocyclic dyes is xanthine dyes fourth heterocyclic dyes was is oxazine dyes oxazine dyes and last heterocyclic dyes is acridine dyes so these are the classes of heterocyclic dyes first we have seen thiazine and azine third one is xanthine dyes fourth class is oxazine dyes and fifth class is acridine dyes okay see xanthine dyes are having a formula or we may say a basic core structure of xanthine xanthine dyes is like this see this is what a basic core structure of xanthine molecule okay so this type of basic structure is present in xanthine dyes so we will have a example of xanthine dye see fluorocin eosin fluorocin eosin these are the what example of xanthine dyes in laboratory practical we have also seen how fluorocin is synthesized and at that time i have told you fluorocin is what a xanthine class of dye okay so see what is the structure of eosin so i will write here the structure of eosin See, eosin is nothing but tetrabromo tetrabromo eoc is nothing but tetrabromo derivative of fluorocin okay so fluorocin compound fluorocin dye is on bromination gives eosin so this is what eosin okay fluorocin dye on bromination gives what eosin so this is what a structure of eosin dye and it is what a xanthine dye it is what a xanthine dye now let us see synthesis of this eosin dye let us see synthesis of eosin dye synthesis of eosin dye okay see eosin dye is synthesized from obviously two moles of resorcinol obviously from two moles of resorcinol as we have synthesized fluorocin in laboratory from two moles of resorcinol and one mole of thalic anhydride isn't it one mole of thalic anhydride so see there will be a condensation reaction there will be what condensation reaction see this synthesis is carried out in presence of concentrated sulfuric acid or anhydrous zinc chloride okay so here in your textbook or uh, in your theory syllabus the synthesis is given by using concentrated sulfuric acid so there will be what loss of two molecules of water okay in laboratory practical we have carried out synthesis of fluorocin from anhydrous zinc chloride so see what we will get 
we will get a condensed product we will get this type of condensed product isn't it we will get what this type of condensed product now this is what suppose if we react this structure with uh, this intermediate with the NaOH okay so there will be a what ring opening okay and we may call this as also fluorescein fluorescein dye isn't it this is also called a fluorescein dye now this fluorescein is reacted with bromine in presence of ethanol and sodium perchlorate naclo3 okay so sodium perchlorate so there will be what bromination there will be what bromination so what we will get see next structure will be like this so there will be what tetra bromo derivative of fluorescein we will get we will get tetra bromo derivative of fluorescein so right bromine bromine tetra bromo derivative isn't it So you will have here also bromine, bromine, OH. So this is what tetra bromo derivative of fluorescein. Now this compound is is on reaction with alkali sodium hydroxide. There will be a ring opening, and we will get a final structure of fluorescein. So COH group this ring will open up and that carboxylic acid group will get converted into sodium salt of carboxylic acid and similarly phenolic hydroxyl group will also get converted into sodium salt of phenol. O minus Na plus or you may write here sorry I forgot to write a quinoid structure here there will be a what quinoid structure so this is eosine dye this is what a eosine dye so it is nothing but what tetra bromo derivative of fluorescein okay so this is what a xanthine dye suppose if we see this xanthine dyes they are having you may see this structure or you may see this structure so these xanthine dyes are having what this quinoid structure is a what chromophore in that molecule okay quinoid structure which is acting as a chromophore while this group like sodium salt of phenol or this bromo okay or this bromine they are acting as what oxochrome they are acting as what oxochrome so hydroxyl bromine okay this type of group are acting as a oxochrome and 
क्यूनॉइड स्ट्रक्चर इज एक्टिंग एज ए क्रोमोफोर इन वॉट जैंथिन डाइज एंड दिस इज वॉट ए एग्जाम्पल ऑफ योसिन डाई नाउ वॉट आर द यूज ऑफ दिस जैंथिन डाइज ओके वॉट आर द यूजेस ऑफ दिस जैंथिन डाइज ओके सी जैंथिन डाइज आर यूज फॉर डाइंग पेपर ओके दे आर ऑल्सो यूज फॉर डाइंग सिल्क ओके ऊल एंड ऑल्सो दे आर यूज फॉर कॉटन टैन इन मॉडर्न टेड दे आर ऑल्सो यूज फॉर डाइंग टैन इन मॉडर्न टेड कॉटन ओके सी दे आर ऑल्सो यूज इन कैलिको प्रिंटिंग दे आर ऑल्सो यूज इन वॉट कैलिको प्रिंटिंग दे आर ऑल्सो यूज एज ए डाय फॉर पेपर दे आर ऑल्सो यूज एज ए डाय फॉर पेपर एंड यू नो यू विल रिमेंबर दिस वी हेव सीन यू हो सीन इन वॉट कॉस्मेटिक डाइज ओके इन वॉट कॉस्मेटिक डाइज दैट इज नॉन टेक्सटाइल यूजेस ऑफ डाइज वेर यूओसिन इज यूज एज ए डाय इन वॉट कॉस्मेटिक यूओसिन इज ऑल्सो यूज इन यूओसिन इज ऑल्सो यूज एज डाइज फॉर इंक ओके सो दिस झांतीन डाइज आर यूज एज ए डाइज इन इंक दे आर ऑल्सो यूज एज ए डाइज इन कॉस्मेटिक ओके सो दिज आर वॉट लॉट ऑफ यूजेस ऑफ झांतीन डाइज सो दिज आर वॉट एप्लीकेशन और वी मे से यूजेस ऑफ झांतीन क्लास ऑफ डाय ओके सो नाउ वी विल मूव विथ ऑक्जाजिन डाइज एंड एक्रेडिन डाइज आई होप यू आर अंडरस्टूड दिस ओके फ्लूरोसिन डाइज ओके नाउ लेट एस सी ऑक्जाजिन एंड एक्रेडिन डाइज Okay, let us see this oxazine dyes. See, in oxazine dyes are having a structure like this. So this is what phenoxazine. phenoxazin okay so example for this oxazin dye is capri blue example for this phenoxazin dye is what a capri blue okay i will write the structure of this capri blue example is capri blue so capri blue is belongs to what ethyl group is here this is what a ethyl group here there is an me2 group and here there is methyl no sorry okay see methyl is here so this is what a example of capri blue okay we are having positive charge here there will be a chloride ion counter ion cl minus we may write cl minus here also so this is a example of oxazine and this is core structure is called pheno oxazine okay pheno oxazine okay see there is oxygen atom hence oxa 
and there is what nitrogen atom hence we are having aza okay hence the heterocycle is called phenoxazine and the name of this example is what capri blue so capri blue is having this c double bond o or c double bond n that will be act as chromophore while this n et2 diethyl amino or dimethyl amino or methyl that will act as what oxochrome okay so this is what oxazine dyes okay now what are the uses of this oxazine dyes they are also used for dye for paper okay they are also used for dyeing jute jute fiber okay they are also used for dyeing cotton silk isn't it and they are also used in what calico printing okay so these are what uses of capri blue uses of what capri blue dye or we may say oxazine dyes now let us see last class of this heterocyclic dyes is what acridine dyes last class of heterocyclic dyes is what acridine dyes so what is the basic core structure of acridine see basic core structure of acridine is like this Okay. see there is what a nitrogen atom so this is acridine this is what a basic core structure of acridine dyes now what is the example of this acridine dye example of acridine dye is acriflavin example of this acridine dyes is what acriflavin okay name of this dye is acriflavin okay see so acriflavin dyes are having this c double bond n linkage isn't it this c double bond n linkage or carbon carbon double bond linkage is acting as a chromophore while this amino group which are acting as oxochrome which are acting as oxochrome so what are the uses of these dyes that is acridine dyes okay. see these dyes are used for dyeing paper okay jute fiber and one most important uh, most important use of this dye is used as a chemotherapeutic agent is used as a chemotherapeutic agent okay so it is having application in what drugs okay and it is also used as antiseptic it is also used as a antiseptic so these are what the uses of acridine dyes an example is what acriflavin so with the today's lecture okay xanthine dyes oxazine dyes and acridine dyes this heterocyclic class of dyes is what finish here heterocyclic class of dyes is finish here now in next lecture we will see another next class of dyes okay we will stop here thank you very much